Okay, so we're recapping Survivor week seven? Week seven. And wow, did we have a show tonight or what? Okay, so the show starts out with just the usual recap of last week. And then we go straight into the duel with Christine and Michaela. And it is clear that the Upulu tribe members are trying to help Michaela. And she doesn't win. And Christine wins her fifth duel in a roll, which immediately sends Ozzy's wheels turning, only I think they're turning in the wrong direction. Ozzy decides that it might be a good idea for him to go to Redemption Island to beat Christine so that they can be 6-6 six, six at the merge. And I'm thinking to myself, Ozzy, are you the dumbest person on earth? Wouldn't you rather be 7-6 at the merge? Um, and he's he's thinking if they lose, he'll be 6-6 six, six at the merge. But here's the thing. Christine hates Apulu. She's made it evident in every single duel that she cannot stand Apulu. And they have made it evident that they want anybody but Christine to win. So I'm not understanding why Ozzy finally, or Ozzy thinks he needs to sacrifice himself to go knock Christine out. I mean, the girl can clearly win immunity challenges. So if you are going into the merge and you get rid of the person you think is weakest, Cochrane, not that I'm advocating that, but if you get rid of the weakest person, Cochrane, and you gain Stacy, or I mean Christine, who hates Upulu, you've just strengthened your tribe, in my opinion. But hey, what do I know? I'm not playing Survivor. So, go to the challenge, and it is the blind leading the blind, and that's the way it always is in reality TV, but here we go. So the challenge is two callers, two teams, both teams are blindfolded, and they have to go through these maze on rope to get bags of clues and come back and do a puzzle. They have to go out um, four times. And Savai is doing good, Apulu is doing good, in the beginning they're leading, then Savai catches up, and it looks like they might actually start to take over and take the lead when they have a catastrophic rope issue, which they all blame on Cochrane, but when they came back, they were tangled before they came back, and he's trying to untangle them, and they're so busy moving around, not listening to little... Cochrane talking that they tangle themselves up worse and he takes the full brunt of the blame for losing this challenge at which point Ozzy has a temper tantrum like you wouldn't believe kicking things hitting things now here's the thing Ozzy had gone to Cochrane before the immunity challenge and told him this great idea of his to sacrifice himself give himself the give up uh, Cochrane the idol and he would go to the challenge to beat Christine. Now, they lose the challenge, and Ozzy's thrown a temper tantrum. And what's going through Ozzy's mind right about this moment is, Darn it! Now I have to carry through with my word. I don't want to have to carry through with my word. I told him I'd do it, and now he wants to actually make me do it. Cochran's sitting there going, Okay, so I guess we're not doing that anymore. They come back from the challenge, and the entire tribe is telling Cochran, hmm, now it's time to redeem yourself. You go to Redemption Island, and you redeem yourself and prove yourself to us, and then you can come back and be on our side. <laughs> Are you kidding me? If they would have sent me to Redemption Island, I'd be just like Christine. You sent me out? I'm not coming back and playing for you and being last on your team. It's not happening. So... Cochran pretty much believes he's going home or to Redemption Island and then he's going to lose again and, and leave the game. And Dawn is telling him, I really do believe it's redemption for you. You could be redeemed by this. Whatever, Dawn. You wouldn't think of it if you were going. So Ozzy can't sleep that night and he's thinking about it and thinking about it. And the next morning he goes and gets the idol, comes in wearing the, the immunity idol and makes this big grandiose I think I should go I think we should do this well the team doesn't want him to do this because they're thinking what if we don't merge what if we don't win the next immunity challenge what happens if your big plan screws us over and so he 
he's just so full of himself at this point. A, he really believes he's going to beat Christine, which he might. He very well might, but, you know, come on, Ozzy. Your ego has gotten the better of you, and that's pretty clear. So we get to <laughs> one of the best tribal councils I've ever seen because it's comical in the way that... Um, Ozzy is describing what he's going to do, and he hands Cochran the idol after he fakes him out a couple times, and he just really believes in this master plan of his. And Jeff kind of tries to point out the obvious that this isn't, you know, really brilliant. Look at my hair sticking up. Ah. So, um, oh, now it's worse. Sorry. Um, so anyhow, um, then... They go and vote. And this was the most priceless moment ever, ever. As they're voting, <laughs> the votes come in. Ozzy. Ozzy. And as the third one is read, he starts to rise up from his seat. Oh, my God. Priceless. So he rises up as the votes are read. And by the fourth one, he's... he's um, voted out and he's so happy to be going and he gets his thing his you know fire and snuffed out and has to take it and then he literally skips off to redemption island <laughs> sorry he skipped off to redemption island it was the funniest thing i've seen in a long time barring big brother this season with luan thinking being voted off would be a good idea too. So we all saw how well that worked out for him. Let's hope it changes for Ozzy. I don't know. Ozzy's so full of himself. Now the other team. The other team is dependent on faith and they would pray a lot and I saw a lot of snarky comments about their faith and their praying and I'm not going to make those same kind of comments because I wouldn't make comments about someone's sexual orientation and I won't make comments about someone's faith either. It may be fair game for other people but it's not for me. If they want to pray and ask for help and they want to give thanks after they won, hey, that's their business and I'm not going to mock them for it. Um, Coach did come clean and show everybody the idol. He didn't come clean in the fact that when he actually found it, but he found a way to say, hey, I have the idol without it being, you know, oh, you've had it for a week. Um, so it gave the Apulu tribe a lift. They feel very united as a tribe, and they're happy. They got to see a movie tonight, Adam Sandler's jack and jill after they won the immunity challenge so it was pretty much the aussie show tonight and we'll see what happens man if christine beats him <laughs> if christine beats him at the duel omg because then she comes back when they do merge and finds out that ozzy lied to her when he went to redemption and he told her that cochran devised this um, he had the immunity idol all along, and he um, sent Ozzy out. And when when she comes back, she'll find out the truth, and then she won't have either side to play with. Because, And at that point, she'll just become a huge target because she's won so many duels. She'll be an immunity, individual immunity threat. So there's your survivor recap. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Either Ozzy has lost his freaking mind, or he's brilliant, or both. He's just brilliant um, in a scary, pre-Halloween, I've lost my mind kind of way. All right, have a good night.